welcome to the greenhouse this morning and I was going to show you how to plant stevia. Stevia is a substitute. It's a very, very sweet herb. So it's a substitute for sugar. You can't uh, use it for everything, but you can certainly use it in drinks and that's what I use it mainly for. But you also can use it for other substitutions for sugar. So um, let's get started. First of all, I have my stevia here seed. The, it should be started very early. It takes a long time to germinate. It takes a long time to grow. But um, the company was out of the stevia seed when they sent my order in. So it just now got back in stock. So here I'm just uh, starting it now when I got it. Um, note that stevia takes a long time to germinate. It's supposed to germinate between like 14 and 20 days. So it takes a long time to germinate. And then again, it's very slow growing. Um, the seed, let's see if you can see it there. Yeah, it's kind of long and slender. It's a very, very small seed. Um, kind of like a, like a, maybe put you in mind more of a flower seed or like a lemongrass seed. Um, very, very small. So first of all, the key point is we got to keep these seeds moist for that 20 days before they even continue to germinate, okay? So we want to start out, I'm just going to uh, reuse this. There's only 20 seeds, that's all I got, could get. Um, so we're just going to reuse this little 8-pack cell holder. We're going to fill it full of moist, uh, this is soilless mix, it's a professional growing uh, germination, seed germination mix, okay? Um, the other factor in stevia is it takes light to germinate. That means the seeds actually need light to germinate. So we cover them uh, very, very sparingly. I'm gonna punch the soil down. So we're just filling it up. And I'm going to push it down. It's already good and moist, but I'll go ahead. And I get asked about this all the time. This has never had a chemical in it. It's one of those, they give you the bottle and they give you all the little packs to fill, fill the bottle to make your cleaning solution. It's never had anything in it besides water. So, just going to moisten the soil even more so here on the top. Um, stevia likes about 70 degrees to germinate. Uh, so we're going to take this in the house, and I'm going to got to kind of pamper this. Here we have it. And then, just take this little packy. I'm telling you, we got to get all these seeds out of there because there's only 20. I was just lucky to be able to get them. Okay, there's a few more seeds, but again... There are the seeds, and we're just going to put, I'm going to put like two right on the surface. I'll put kind of one on one side and kind of one on the other. Ooh. Again, these are really little tiny seeds and they do require light to germinate. And so I'm gonna show you in just a second how we're going to cover these. And then, um, how we're gonna keep them moist during that 21 days that they require to germinate, because that's a factor too. Keep them moist and keep them warm. If, they're, if they get cold, the seeds are gonna rot. If they're over water, they're gonna rot. So, It's, but if you do this, you will have pretty good success rate generally. Okay, some of them have three seeds in it. Some of them have two. So you can either choose to just moisten them in, spray some more, or you can take some dry, got some dry in here, and barely, I mean, we are barely, barely, barely. Because again, these require light to germinate. 
okay? Just a teensy little bit. Then, when I go ahead and spray and moisten this more, it's going to expose those seeds to the light. Okay? Here's the last thing. Because these require so long a germination, you want to make sure that they're not drying out because they're not covered by, you know, soil to keep them moist. These I do cover. So if you have like those little greenhouse domes or whatever on your planters, awesome. But if not, some little saran, saran wrap works amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a piece of this off of here and put this right on top. Cover it like this, and then I'll take a um, and put the date and what it is in pencil. I recycle old blinds. This is what I use these for. So the blind is about this. Size. I cut them to be this short and then I fold them in half to make my plant markers. And when you're doing plants, don't use an ink pen when you're writing or a marker because those bleach from the sun. If you use pencil, they work perfect and you can see them for years and years. So I'll just mark these, take them in the house and keep them in about 70 degree, you know, temperature and we should have some pretty good germination. Um, I always do take and poke a few holes, maybe like four holes in the top of this, small holes, um, to let out a little bit. I don't know. It seems to work better for me. So that stevia, it's super, um, easy to plant. It's just, it does take so much time and you do need to make sure that the light hits the seeds and we need to be sure that the seeds stay moist and warm until they germinate. All right. Comment below and tell me if you've ever grown stevia or if you're going to try to find some seeds and grow some. Have a blessed day.